he understood that enormous resources would be needed to push back the tide of Japanese conquests. And until the full might of American industry could be brought to bear, the United States would have to concentrate on holding the line. Roosevelt insisted that further Japanese expansion must be countered at all costs. The extension of the Japanese defensive perimeter in the Pacific, although logistically complex, was expected by the Imperial High Command to pose few real problems. On the islands to be invaded, enemy forces were weak, and at sea, it seemed there was little to fear from the Americans or the British. The Japanese Navy, the driving force behind the plan, was supremely confident. The first stage of the Japanese plan of conquest was to complete the occupation of New Guinea. By April 1942, New Guinea had already been partly conquered, and the Japanese were anxious to deny the whole island to the Allies. An advanced striking force of troop transports and heavy cruisers would be assembled in Rabaul, along with three aircraft carriers at truck. The force from Rabaul would sail south, then split into two divisions. The first was to seize Tulagi in the Solomon Islands. The second, supported by one aircraft carrier from Truk, was to capture Port Moresby. The remaining two carriers would enter the Coral Sea and engage any enemy found there. Once New Guinea had been occupied, then New Caledonia, Fiji, and Samoa would easily be captured. To extend the Japanese line in the north, three islands of the Aleutian chain, Atu, Kiska, and Adak, would be added to the list of conquests. The next stage in the Japanese advance would be the occupation of the American-held island of Midway. 1,136 miles west of Hawaii. The capture of Midway would win for the Empire an airstrip within striking distance of the American naval base at Pearl Harbor. Although the capture of Midway would provide a vital stepping stone in any future action against Hawaii, the operation would also have another equally important objective. It would be used to lure American aircraft carriers out of Pearl Harbor 